would you love to be able to sing? I mean, really sing. To actually sound beautiful and skillful when you sing. Or how about speaking to a crowd? Wouldn't it be amazing to be able to hold the audience's attention? Hi everyone, I am the Singing Diva and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you three simple, easy exercises that you can do to improve your singing voice. So first up, we're going to be learning to breathe from our diaphragm. What exactly is the diaphragm? A lot of people are confused by this term we hear all of the time. Basically, breathing from your diaphragm is being able to breathe deep from your core. But unfortunately, a lot of people aren't familiar with this type of breathing. Most of us in day-to-day -day living always just breathe really shallow and are not even aware of it. So you need to catch yourself and then find the correct method in order to breathe more naturally and breathe from your diaphragm. Ultimately, these deep breaths are what make you sound better, feel better, and give you a better singing voice. So for our first exercise, we are going to be laying on the floor. The purpose of this exercise is to help teach you diaphragmatic breathing. I know that's a big term, but diaphragmatic breathing or breathing from the diaphragm is basically learning to breathe correctly, breathing from deep within the chest instead of our you know, general shallow breathing that we all tend to do on a daily basis and don't even realize. So with this exercise, laying on the floor is going to help you become accustomed to breathing from your diaphragm. The reason is because when you lay on the floor, most people naturally will breathe from their diaphragm in that position. So for this first one, you're going to be laying on the floor, nice and comfy, and just take in a few deep breaths. Notice the sensation in your body. How is your body feeling? Where is the breath coming from? And how does it feel when it's leaving the body? Where is the expansion? Is it around your rib cage? Just lay there for a bit, taking a few deep breaths in and out and get accustomed to the feeling and sensation. Next, you're going to stand up and then try and duplicate that feeling, thereby helping you to learn diaphragmatic breathing in your day-to-day -day life when you're sitting, standing up and knowing what it feels like, where the breath is supposed to come from when you're going about your daily activities. Learning to breathe correctly is going to help you be able to project your voice better, whether that is when you are singing or if you happen to be speaking, giving a speech in front of a crowd. This is one of the foundational techniques that will help improve your vocals. If your voice is also a bit low or timid sounding, this technique, just by learning to breathe properly from the diaphragm, is going to help to make you sound strong and project your vocals with strength and confidence when you speak or sing. On to our next exercise, which is stretching the vocal range. So first up, what is a vocal range? You'll find on this channel, I like to use really simple terms. The average person may not know what are the fancy musical terms. So if I do happen to use a term that you might not be familiar with, uh, if it's not part of like day-to-day -day language that we use, I will do my best to try and clarify those, make it simple, easy, basic, and break it down for the general person. So when we talk about vocal range, we're basically referring to your lowest note and your highest note, everything in between. So if this is the highest you can sing and this is the lowest you can sing, your vocal range is every note in between that. Now, most people would love to be able to sing a bit higher, sing a bit lower and be able to sing those notes with ease. So what exactly is a vocal scale? I'll give you an example. 
Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So that's a very common vocal scale you may be familiar with. Basically, a vocal scale is a syllable attached to a melody behind it. And we use various vocal scales in order to do all sorts of things with your vocals, whether we want to stretch your vocal range, build vocal endurance, whatever it may be. We use vocal scales in various vocal exercises. So for this exercise, we're going to use that same vocal scale of Do, Re, Mi in order to gently stretch your vocal range. So I will demonstrate by singing two rounds of Do, Re, Mi from low to high and then high to low. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. So what we're going to basically do with those, if you heard the lowest that I started from and the highest point that I went to, and then coming back down, you're basically going to gently stretch that vocal range. So for example, if your lowest was Do, you're going to start even lower. Do. If your highest was Do, you're going to start at Do and continue the vocal scale up and down. That's going to just gently stretch your vocal range without overstraining your vocals. For our third exercise, you're going to mentally visualize. Yes, mentally. Actually visualizing mentally helps your physical vocals, whether you are singing or in a crowd of people. Try this exercise with me. You're going to close your eyes. And let's say, for example, you want to be able to sing at karaoke or you want to be able to speak to an audience and really captivate them with the way that you speak. You're going to see this in your mind's eye and you're going to really feel into that emotion. Feel how amazing would that feel to be able to sing out loud, to be able to maybe even get a bit of a crowd at the karaoke or um, be able to speak to a crowd and have everyone's eyes on you because they're listening so intently to what you're saying. Whatever it may be, you're going to mentally visualize this and feel those emotions. So what exactly does this exercise do? The benefits are really, really amazing from something so simple you wouldn't believe. One of the main things is that it gives you a different perspective. You're going to see that this is something actually possible for you. And I've seen with countless students that when they're able to mentally visualize themselves doing something, it makes it a lot easier for them to actually do it in the physical or in the practical exercise. This exercise also helps to change the neural pathways in the brain. So it can be something pretty amazing to help build your confidence. It basically shows the brain that there is an alternative, that there is a possibility that you can achieve this and you can actually sing out beautifully or speak in front of a crowd, where, whatever it may be for you. It gives the brain an opportunity to see this as a possibility. I find this exercise also helps to really develop your confidence. It directly improves your singing voice and these emotions, it's almost as if it gives you permission or gives your brain, your subconscious, permission to feel these good emotions and to feel that sensation of what it would be like and then to actually do it. You're going to sound better. You're going to feel more confident in your vocal ability and your overall self-esteem. Let me know in the comments how you feel after trying these exercises. Remember, consistency is key. So you want to give yourself a little bit of time and actually practice these on a daily basis if you can. Let me know. Let's share some feedback. See if anybody's experienced some benefits. Maybe you've had some hurdles along the way as well. I would love to hear from all of you.
Now, for those of you who'd like to go a little bit further in your singing and vocal journey, I have put together an absolutely brilliant course. It's called Learn How to Sing, Vocal Training, and it takes you all the way through from beginners right through to the intermediate onto the advanced level. So no matter which level of singing and vocal ability you may be on, on your singing journey, this course is so beneficial to anyone and everyone that would like to try it. I highly recommend it and I'll leave all the details in the description box below. So I hope this video has inspired you, maybe even motivated you a bit to keep going on your singing journey. If you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I would love to be a part of your singing journey. I am new to YouTube, but I plan on being here for a good while to come. I'm going to be bringing you more videos like this, not only on vocals, but also on self-care and empowerment, which I feel are really important when it comes to your vocals and your overall self-esteem. They all play a part and fit in together. Now, if you have a weak voice, or maybe you have trouble holding a note, you'll want to check out my next video where I'm going to teach you one simple breathing exercise that can dramatically help to strengthen your vocals. So I will see you in that video. And until next time, my divas, stay awesome.